let's okay. do it from the start as it was planned, right? Unless you can make that funny noise again. <laughs> that one. Don't worry, we'll do it again, right? Here we go. <laughs> Welcome to the Dirt Shed Show again. Thanks for joining us. Of course, we're supported by Chain Reaction Cycles. And look who I've got with me this week. Jessica Strange! Woo! Woo! There's cloud applause, crowd applause there, I can hear it. There it is, there it is. Thanks, editor. Uh, yes, so we've got a great show coming up. We're gonna be teaching you a few tips this week, Jess, about we the advice you wish you could have given yourself before you started riding. There's so much of it as well. Mm, things you wish you'd known. Yes, well, we've got that stuff coming up. We've got a top 10, no less. Plus all the normal stuff. We've got a great competition, some awesome videos um, that we've seen around the block. Let's get going. It's the Dirt Shed Show. Okay, let's get going with the show. And as I said and promised, we have got some advice for you. Some things that are gonna help you make decisions about your riding this weekend, especially if you're new to the sport. Definitely. Jess, what's the one thing you wish you'd known oh. before you started riding? I just want one thing before we get into our top 10. There are so many, definitely. No one ever told me that you shouldn't wear knickers under your chamois <laughs> pads. So for a good year of when I first started riding, I oh, was wearing man. knickers and it's just not really a good combination with the chamois cream and everything else. No, good. no, no. you no. don't do that. That's not what's done. You don't wear your knickers under your lycra. No. Lesson number one. And what about you, Martin? What do you wish someone oh. had told you in the earlier days? I think I've got a lot. I'll tell you what I think is a really good bit of advice, especially when you're first starting, is, is knowing your cockpit of your riding, okay? Because <laughs> when you first get on a bike, grow up, Jess, when you first get on a bike, um, um, especially mountain bikes these days, you've got your brake levers, then you've got gears on either side, now you've got dropper Droppers. posts. There's yeah. all sorts of levers going on, and, and now some of it's electronic. Oh my gosh, yeah. So getting to know that cockpit, knowing that this is the front brake, you know, if you're in the UK, or knowing which is your front brake, which mm -hmm. is your back brake, how that affects the bike. Getting to know that setup is really important because once you're confident there, then when you go out and riding, you're not coming to the hill going, no, which one's the front brake? Oh, it's a treat. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you want to get to know your cockpit. I think that is a really important bit of advice. That is, that is but we've got a top 10 we of all do. the things you need to know. And this is our top 10, yours might be different, yep. but let's get going. Let's see the hit list. At four places at number 10, it's your tire choice. It's an important one. Staying at nine, bedding in your brakes. Don't ride before they're ready to work. No, definitely not. In at eight for the fifth week in a row is riding with your seat too low. <laughs> I like that one. Up seven, it's knowing your cockpit. <laughs> he said cock. At one place at number six, not wearing protection. Down six, it's wearing lycra, that's a no-no. And up one at number four is wearing kit that doesn't fit or isn't quite suitable for you. And staying at three, don't buy a downhill bike first. It's not the right first bike. Far too much travel. And it's a no mover at number two, which is thinking that mountain biking is easy. Cause it isn't. And new at number one straight in, it's a big hit. It's wearing knickers under your chamois. Now, of course, that's just our top 10, but I think there's probably plenty more rookie mistakes out there. So I think, Martin, you should go find some. I'm on it. And if by magic, here I am out on the street. So I'm gonna find some cyclists out here and see if they can give me that thing they wish they'd known before they started riding. Be truthful to yourself. Be truthful. To yourself. Now, can you connect that to cycling in any way? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, don't be scared to go up a hill. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, I like that. Were you frightened of going up the hills? There's a lot of them in Bath. It's hard work. <laughs> but now you go for it. But now you just go for it. See a hill and go for it. Good advice. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just about to move this thing over the road yeah. and somebody shoots past my face on a bike. On a bike. Mm. Yeah. So, so I guess the one bit of advice would be look out for cyclists. Look out for everybody. <laughs> How long have you been riding? Today or in general? In general. 20 years. Oh, fan. we've got an expert. So your one bit of advice is to do with speed. Yeah, or lack of it in, in some cases, but generally there will always be someone trying to go faster than you. And, then, and when you see that person? Then like. Ah. 
Zen attitude. So let the faster rider go. It'll cut. Yeah. Someone will be after him as well. Or It'll, her. Or her. And even going through when the lights are red. Yes. So I know yeah. I mustn't yeah. cross the road. Yeah. I, and then. And they go through the red light. Yeah. yeah. Do you know who you're describing? Road riders. Uh, I had to just bike and just go with the flow. <laughs> uh, bike and just go for it. That's the best answer we've had all day. So great advice out on the street. We've got some cool stuff. Some of it's just like go for it. Other things is don't worry about the fast guy. Let him go. Enjoy yourself. Uh, and then we've had some amazing wisdom about making sure you think about the people around you. It's all good. Good lessons. Some of this stuff could change your weekend riding. Bloody hell, mine. That took ages. I know. I'm sorry. I got lost in that. That was a lot of fun. Um, of course, that's some great opinions from out on the yep. street. Uh, and of course, we've got our top 10, but we would love to hear from you guys as well. Uh, in the comment section down below, please let us know the things you think everyone needs to know before they ride mountain biking. Mm -hmm. Right, let's get into the news. Jess, yes. what we've we got happening in the world of mountain biking so, this week? So, first off, we've just found out that Yolanda Neff leaves Cross after two years with yeah. them, and she's had some brilliant victories yeah. in that two year Incredible. period. So it's going to be a big change as she moves to Trek Factory cross country oh, racing. Wow, that is such a pro look. It's oh going to be a good year, especially as she was going to be riding with Emily Batty. Yeah, teammate of Emily teammate. Batty. Yeah. Yeah. And she had an incredible year. She was oh, yeah. right there nearly doing it. All the, the two of them the are going to dominate yeah, next could, year. Could it's going to be a good one. Um, what about this? Riding around the world, it was Jenny Graham smashes the yes. world record for riding around the world. Get this. She did it in 124 days, 18,000 miles. That's insane. Absolutely amazing. I don't, oh, man, I just can't even get my head around riding around the world. My problem would be that I'd be traveling along and stopping all the time to just try and take everything in. I think it would probably take me years to do it because I'd be so distracted by yes. all the amazing sights. I just can't believe it. I just think just taking on that challenge it's just incredible. sounds a bit too big for me. A bit too mm. big. But well done, Jenny. A world record. <laughs> that, that is, is amazing. Next up, we've got this awesome video of the Common Sal Clash. It's Thomas the Stack and crew out riding, hitting loam, hitting the trees, um, jumping a car at mm. one point, having a lot of fun in that car, doing yeah. some drifting. Uh, it's a really cool video. Got a really great vibe. Reminds me of 50 to 1 videos a little yeah, bit. It does. Uh, but it's really nice. I like this one a lot. Now, YT have got a new video out with Aaron Gwynn. He yeah. is shredding local trails in California on the YT Capra. Now, I love this. You've mm. got a seasoned World Cup racer who's enjoying the off-season, as he should, on his bike, having fun. It's what it's all about, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. I tell you what, it's awesome to see the sort of technical ability of going out on a normal trail. It yeah. somehow gives you an idea of just how fast that guy can oh, go. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's like a bullet. It's very, very cool. It's a cool um, video. And last off, what about Red Bull Rampage? It's yes. happening as we speak, It Jess. is, it oh, is isn't it exciting? super exciting. Oh, I yeah. cannot wait. Yeah, so don't forget to watch that after you've watched the Dirt Shed mm -hmm. show. Um, we've got our money. It's the year of the dog, apparently. It is. So we've got our money on, on Brendan Fairclough, haven't course. we? Of yeah, course. Yeah, because we think he's got the best line. We've been we looking do. on Instagram. Instagram, stuff like mm. that. Um, but if if Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, is watching, they're trying to get The Rock there because yeah. they rolled a rock. Something, something about a massive rock. It's something to do rock, with a rock. But There's they really the want some of The Rock's love for The Rock. For The Rock. That okay, so riding. if you can help Brendog and his mates mm -hmm. out on that, that would mm -hmm. be great. But more importantly, don't forget to watch Red Bull Rampage. Right, let's get on with the show. I'll tell you what we need right now, Jess, some tech. We do need some tech. Yeah. So, yeah, where's Doddy? Where, where is he for us hey, to interrupt could him? could you interrupt him this week? Because I get in a lot of trouble every time I... He, he pretends like he does not no, bother no, by No, 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 because I'm in his good books at the moment. Okay, right. Uh, Doddy, over to you. So, it's a penny farthing. It's obviously front-wheel drive, but it has got a problem, I do think. It's not got quite enough mud clearance because it's technically penny farthing. I reckon that they should make a fat bike version. Think of the cheese clearance you would have on a four cheese... Uh, sorry, dude. Oh, Are you serious? Dude, do you, do you do this deliberately? Why, why do you constantly do this to me? Now. Uh, Dan, can we do something for Martin? Fine, fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right I got it. 
Every time, Martin. Seriously, dude. Like, I'd actually forgotten, because you've left it a few weeks now. I'm gonna be watching you, though. But yeah, I have actually got something new for Tech of the Week. So Mondraker have got a new bike that's just launched. So this is like hot off the press. It's called the Level, it's their new e-bike, but hear me out on this, because this thing is an absolute weapon. So it's got 170 mil travel up front, 160 out bike, firmly aimed in that super enduro class. So don't forget that next year, there's gonna be UCI points earned on e-bikes. So they're opening up the class. So we're gonna see some really, really exciting racing coming. And it comes with, no surprises, 29 inch wheels. So this thing is an absolute weapon, right? It's gonna winch you up wherever you need to get up and absolutely smash it on the way back down. It's even got downhill casing tires on there, full downhill tires, not just the thicker casing double down tires. They've gone straight out for the, the proper bad boys on there. Now, have a look at it on screen. You can see it's got that classic Mondraker shape to it. Personally, I think they look amazing. It's got a 65 degree head angle up front. And of course, it's got Mondraker's forward geometry. They were really the pioneers in the mass market on doing the proper long, low and slack by extending that wheelbase up front, basically putting your weight further behind that front wheel axle so you've got more stability on climbing and much more stability when descending. I think this could be one of the coolest looking e-bikes yet. Yeah. Um, should we do some fails and bales? Uh, definitely. Got anything to get us in the mood? I do, and I love this one. It's called Five Foot Drop Into a Tree. Oh no. Oh, no. There isn't any trees. Here he comes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that tree whipped up right between his legs. Ooh, I don't know, he gives a thumbs up, so he must be okay. But I guess so. I love that. I guess so. <laughs> That was like the smallest tree in the forest. And he managed to hit it. I love well that. Done. Well, well done. Well done. It's nice. got us in the mood. It's time for some more crashes. Hold tight. <laughs> Run VT. I thought I caught you out then. <laughs> oh, I no, thought I caught you out. Yes, it's time for Hacks and Bodges. Um, Chain Reaction Cycles give away £100 in this part of the show for the best one we mm -hmm. choose. Right, so I'm going to start, Jess, if that's all right. Um, okay. With my contender, mm -hmm. this is Steve Zip Ties. <laughs> This is okay. official name. Okay. I and mean, what is that? What do you think that is? Well, Looks like a, a zip tie, doesn't it? Zip tie that's been snipped. It's not, it's a puncture repair kit. That's what that is. Please do explain. But, well, see, he was trying to fix his tubeless tire. Right. The no tube scoop inside wasn't fixing it. He just couldn't plug it. Cut this zip tie, plugged the hole of it, and then it worked. Okay. And he fixed it, fixed the puncture. It's still up. That's pretty ingenious. It's, I would have thought to do that. Yeah, you just think, oh, the tire's ruined. It's yeah. Done. No, no, it's still going. Okay. Brilliant. Interesting. So it's kind of smart. Kind yeah, of smart. it is kind of You're smart. You're a contender. So I don't know about yours, but I've definitely got a potential winner here, which is Daniel Spoke Holder, who has created a spoke holder using a 3D right. printer. Basically, he was fed up of having his spokes make a lot of noise as he rode. Uh, so he created this spoke holder to go between them at the junctions to stop them from clanking around. Oh, oh my 3D printing so brilliant. So it's one cool, spoke goes this way, yeah. one goes that way. It and does. it just, oh man, that's so good. I think it's quite cool. <sighs> it's gonna be hard to beat this week. That could be winning a hundred pounds. Could be, yeah. but I also have someone else Ooh. that we have to have a look at. Now, this is Jeff Bike Stand. Catchy name. Great name, I love it. <laughs> uh, also from Canada, who said he got tired of working on his bike with no stand, so whipped this up in just half an hour. That now, is amazing. I really like this. It's very North Shore-esque. <laughs> it is cool, it isn't is. it? I really like it. Uh -huh. It's almost like a bit of art, that. It is. Uh, right, I have got a special contender here, a little bit of All art. Right. This is Daniel Helmet Maker. Oh. Look at this. These names this are is, brilliant this today. Is a, this is a bold move, right? Because Daniel has made this uh, Red Bull tribute helmet. Okay. Okay. Now, now I know what everyone's thinking is like, whoa, that's bold. Making your own Red Bull helmet and going out on the trails. Yeah. Maybe a no-no. Maybe it's, but it's not. It's just for his wall. It's that's just a, like a trophy acceptable. piece. He puts it on his wall. Yeah. It's a, a display piece, if you like. That is so really that's cool. actually pretty I like cool. that. That it's is nice really well done. Let's really face nice. it, the old Red Bull lid, it's kind of iconic, isn't it? It is. Yeah, but a bit of advice, 
don't go out on the trail with a Red Bull helmet unless Red Bull gave you one, else it makes you a proper dick. So it's don't true. do it. It is um, true. But thankfully, Daniel Helmet Maker is not doing that. Go on, Jess, you pick, you pick. 100 I'm, pounds I'm now. Gonna go. 100 pounds. I'm definitely going to go for Daniel Spokeholder. Daniel Spokeholder, yep. Chain Reaction Cycles are giving you 100 pounds wow. to spend in Chain Reaction Cycles. Uh, let us know what you get with that money. Definitely. That is awesome. You just well gave done. away 100 quid. I know. That's pretty cool. I like Santa. I like that a lot. Yay. I like that a lot. Right, let's get going with the show. Caption contest, Jess, start us off. So, last week's photo was a picture of myself looking rather worst for wear. Yeah, bump on the head. So, we've had some fantastic comments coming in, uh, starting off with Ned Jones, who says, don't worry about me, the tree looked way worse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wish was, that was the true. The tree was severely injured. <laughs> uh, mountain Bike Ben says, when you slip your first pedal. Oh my oh. God, do you remember slipping your first pedal? You don't forget it. You, you don't. don't forget it. You've got it, the scars oh, to show it to. Oh, my shins are a mess. Mine are gross. They really are. Uh, Luke VT says, Conte uh, caption contest, when Blake says, trust me, you'll be fine. Yeah, don't follow Blake. Never. You know that thing of like, oh, follow a pro in it, will help you out. Yeah, don't follow Blake doesn't. in. Because he goes all over the place, and he's upside down, and oh no, it doesn't yep. work, it doesn't work. Right, David Downing says, Jess versus Gomez Thunderpaws. Oh. Jess lost. I you often do. You For those nice. of you that don't know, Gomez Thunderpaws is my giant furry Maine Coon cat, uh, who is a total dude. Mm. And, and huge. huge. Yeah, an absolutely <laughs> so I do often lose wrestling fights against him, yes. Yeah, yes. he's he's very cool. Um he's he's a trail cat, isn't he? He is, trail he is. Cat. I have taken him out on the trails a few times. Does he run along after you? He does until something like a bird or squirrel oh, takes nice. his attention, then he's like up a tree. Oh, yeah. And then I have to shake yeah. the treats and he'll come So he's down. a sort of a trail cat in learning. Mm, yeah, yeah, he's in yeah. training indefinitely. Thunderpaws, you'll get it. Don't he worry. Will. Don't worry. He will. Right, here's this week's photo for the caption contest. Oh, actually, we need to we announce didn't pick a, winner. a winner. We should pick a winner. We should, the we should do this competition that is pointless. What's the point? My bad. My well, bad, everyone. Well. Don't worry. I've, I'm back on it now. I've got a water bowl just here, Jess. I know what yeah. I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I've done this show before. Yeah. Right. I'm going to go with David Downing because yeah. he's got like the backstory of Thunderpaws. He's yes. he's looked into it. So Dave Downing, you have won nice. a GMB and water bottle. It's on its way to you now. Enjoy. Nearly. Uh, and uh, let's have a look at this week's photo. <laughs> right, there you are. That's your photo. Give us a caption for that. Put it in the comment section down below and you too could win yourself a GMB and water bottle, which I never forget, Jess. I'm no. on it. I'm on it. And your throwing's getting a bit better too. Okay, while you... Oh, that was nearly good. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's poor... I'm not sure. <laughs> right. Look, while you're here, while you're here, why don't you make sure you subscribe to GMBN because you get great videos all throughout the week. Yep. Um, you get notifications so you know when there's new stuff to look at. Make sure you do it. We love your support, so hit that subscribe button. Now, we're going to be looking at your comments from videos this week. Um, now, last week on the Dirt Show Show, we were talking about fear and how to overcome fear when it comes to mountain biking. Yeah. Uh, so first up, we've got Jake DeVries, who says, Martin Doran on that paper with that marker pen was making me cringe so badly. <laughs> Literally every hair on my arm was stuck on end. Remember, down here, 100 miles, not good. Now, I haven't worked out if it was cringe-worthy because I was just awful or it was the sound of the pen. I'm hoping it was the pen. I'm sorry if it, it wasn't. It was probably the former. Um, Wad Stalker says, um, I always ride with a mate, so usually we overcome fear thanks to the other rider. Oh, that's cool. Um, usually one is scared and the other says, I'm sure it's rideable, uh, and rides it to show it's possible. Fear killer to see your friend riding something that you're scared of. That's exactly true. Yeah. That is brilliant. Yeah. My friend Lauren and I are exactly like that. Yeah. Yeah, if works. she can do it, I try it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you feel supported, don't you? Like, oh, oh yeah. you know, letting someone go first Definitely. as well. Always a good idea. Mm -hmm. What else have we got, Jess? Well, Durahist uh, says, e-bikes for EWS? Why not just install chairlifts for the transitions instead? <laughs> oh, come on. E-bike hate, we don't need it. No, we don't. No. The bikes, everyone's riding bikes, we're all happy. Have a go on one, they're so good. Give they're it a so good, good go, they're definitely. So good. Um, right, that's some great stuff in the comments. Thanks for that, make mm -hmm. sure you get involved in the comments below our videos. Um, right, let's have a think about what's coming up on the channel this week. We've got some big videos. We do, I'm so um, excited. Actually, we've got a big week, but before we get to that week, 
We've got Sunday, we've got the Iceland uh, ride with uh, Neil and Cy si Richardson yeah. over backpacking, isn't it? Exactly, Bike and packing. there is some stunning scenery. If you haven't yeah. been to Iceland or this. if you're thinking about going there to take your bike, definitely do it. Oh, that's right. Uh, Neil said it's one of the best things he's ever done. And then, of course, next week, right, it's Freak, Freak Week! week. Oh my God, we've been doing some videos for we this. We have. We've had a lot of fun. It's been so fun. It's <laughs> been kind of, freaky. kind of stupid. Yeah. Um, so we've got some uh, strange and different videos, some shocking stuff, lots of things that are gonna make you uh, feel... Uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it's free quick and it's coming up. Bike Let's do it. Let's, Let's do, it. do this. First up, we have Dustin, who has sent in a photo of his 2016 Giant Rain 2 from mm. Victoria, British Columbia. And first of all, look at how beautiful I really like everything this. is. I really like this. Like, Pedals. look at the leaves. They're great. It's such an autumn picture. Mm. I'm loving that. I'm loving this little bridge behind it. Definitely it's very ride across. suggestive of the ride, isn't it? Yeah. The Giant Rain looks great too. Nice bike. The dropper's down, but I'm gonna give it a super nice. Nice, nice. nice. Uh, next up, North Shore Garbo with a 2018 commensal meta Love hardtail uh, mm. from Sydney, Australia. Yeah, hardtail fan, me. I'm a yeah, hardtail fan. I do like that. Yeah. That is really nice. I like how the red and the green are nicely nice contrasted. Nice slack head angle on that, mm. isn't it, too? It looks really cool. Sort of it's like proper agro, agro mm. geo, geo, agro geo. <laughs> super nice. Super nice. Ooh uh, ooh. Now this one's from Jack with his 2017 YT <laughs> Jeff C aluminium 20, uh, 27.5. And this is taken in Derbyshire. Oh, oh yeah, I like, I like this one a lot. I, I like it often... because you can see the YT on the yeah. underside of the down tube. I think that's a nice. You can see why he's done that angle, can't you? Yeah. Because I was, uh, I don't nice. really like it. No. A uh, bike vault photo unless it's on the side. Unless... But I think this might be an exception. It's got some nice focal points. I've got the red hubs there, red pedals to match. I quite like it. I think it's amazing. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. I'm only joking. It's nice. Let's move on. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh, so this is Stephen with his Canyon Stitch. I've got one in my garage. I've got one too. They're amazing. They are. My, my son Alfie loves this bike. He takes it to the skate park. In fact, it looks an awful lot like Alfie's bike. It's not Alfie's bike, thank God. So I thought our garage Someone had been raided then. Um, yeah, it's a really cool bike, that it one. It is a rad little bike. That yeah. is fun. How do you that say that place, choice. Jess? That's Stephen in... Slandegla. Slandegla, yeah. yeah. Um, ready to hit some jumps. I love the little uh, mm. toadstools Oh, I there. know, how cool are they? Should we give that a, shall we? I'm gonna give it, I wanna give it Go a super on. nice. I really like there that. It is. ring that bell. Nice, super, super nice. nice. Super nice, well done, Stephen. Ooh. Ooh. Do you feel like the, the sort of quality the of the photos are just yeah, again, crazy so good. good? Oh my god, that's nice. That's Mataj. Mataj? Mataj. 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 This Mataj is bike in the Czech Republic. Um, this is Focus Whistler 29er. It's very cool. That it's is a very nice. cool picture. I don't know if I'm being fooled by the quality of the picture to the to the bike. What's the bike I giving don't know. me? I think oh. I like. Uh, Go on. The whole you do picture it. is really nice. I like I like it a lot. And looking at the bike itself, Go on. super nice. Super nice. Super nice. Oh, it's a lot of super nice. We're being too nice. Too nice now. Ooh. So this is Jaron with his Trek Remedy in Loch Einick. Einick. Einick in Scotland. In Scotland. Yeah. Uh, camping at Loch Einick with a mate. Um, I like it. I Very hope his mate's not in them bags. <laughs> I hope his mate's on a bike. I love that's yeah. where your mind have you, goes. Have you, yeah, I don't know why I did why? that. I don't know why I did that. It was a bad thing to do. Um, I don't know I'd be carrying a body around in bags. Stop talking about it, mine. Moving on. I think this bike's great. Yeah. I love it. I love the background. I love that place. That looks beautiful. I like I'd everything. It's nice. It's nice. Nice. It's nice. nice. A strong it's, nice. It's really nice. A strong nice. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Now this is from Luke with his Bird Aris 145 at the Forest of Dean. Oh, I really oh. like bird bikes. Yeah, I, I think really they like look the, really nice. I really like the Forest of Dean. Mm. It's a lovely place and that's look caught, that. caught the light in them woods. We were there the other day. We were. We were riding there top secret the other day. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, that's a super nice. Just that because it gave me good memories. Yay. Woo. Um, 
And this is from Clive with a Votec VE Pro in Munich. This is my 12 year old son's bike on our favorite trail outside of Munich. It's quite a bike. That is 12 quite, year old. Yeah, that yeah. is a hell of a bike. Now, I really like this. I love the perspective. Yeah, I mean. Trail, the trees, colors, bike is clean. Trail leading away into the background. The bike's saying, come on, let's do it. Let's Shall we? Do this. Shall we? Let's yes. Do it. Let's. Let's. That's do it. super nice. And we're out of the bike vault. That's Fantastic. all we got this week. Fantastic bike. Thank vault. you so much. And if you want to submit your bikes for the bike vault, then do use the GMBN uploader to do so. Yeah, absolutely. The link's just there. Um, that was a pictorial journey, that was, wasn't it? That was beautiful. Isn't it amazing. I love it. Very the bike autumn vault. Right, Very. it's time for some Insta bangers. Yeah! Insta banger time. Right, I'm going to start us off with Thomas Estac. Now, we mentioned the Common Sale video. This is one of the guys that was in it. Fantastic rider. Cool shots on his Instagram account. Go and have a look. Thomas Estac, he's a man to follow. What about you, Jess? Now, I am throwing mine to Brendog, of course. He is out at Rampage uh, in Utah. Yes. Now, if you want to get any behind the scenes action of what him, Ollie, and Deacon are up to, then definitely give him a follow because yeah. all of our support is behind Brendan for winning Rampage. Oh, man. If, Brent, the year if Brendan the Fairclough, dog. if he wins Rampage, I think it makes him like one of the best riders on the planet ever. I used to say if he wins a World Cup, it would make him the best rider in the world because mm -hmm. he can do everything. Yes. But if he wins Rampage, it's confirmed. Wow. He's number one. That's who you've got to be better than. That's my opinion. It's just my opinion. Let's hope so then. Oh God, please. My fingers are crossed. Come on, Everything's come on, crossed. Come on. Right, we've got a Grom of the Week this week. Jess. We do have, have a Grom of the Week. And this Double is it. Bryn. He's on a flow aggressive hardtail based in Cornwall. Uh, I've awesome. heard he's a bit of an all rounder. Yeah. That's what I've heard. Oh yeah. Proper trials. Trial skills. Nice. 20 inch, nice that. Oh yeah, oh. you can jump too, one hander. Yeah. Oh, hang on, he is an all rounder. Oh, he is. A proper mountain biker. Oh, that's a gap. Nice. <laughs> yes. Oh, we have got a star in the making. We do indeed. He looks rad. This guy's awesome. Well the done, Total boss. It. Absolutely amazing. Man, that I could have been edit. just viewer edit. That was, that good, was yeah. mega. <laughs> God, Grom of the Week or viewer edit, those things go in the uploader too. So if you want to upload some videos to us, make sure you get to that uploader and get involved. Um, right, now we've got some competitions. We do. Let's give some stuff away. Okay, competition time, and we have got some amazing wheel sets from Dude, FSA. We've got two nice. sets to give away mm -hmm. from their wider range. Wider is better, you know what I mean? Gravity rider, extra strength, bit of wideness. Yeah. I do, I do love just a wide rim. That's not why you should get them, but that's my personal opinion. A wide rim looks ace. Um, so FSA have got these wheel sets. They're carbon. They're awesome. Um, you can get the uh, information in the link down mm -hmm. below, um, and you can enter the competition, and you will be in the chance of winning those wheels. We'll yeah. just give them to you free. Now don't forget mine, of course, we want everyone to head over to the GMBN Tech channel where they are giving away a custom build Santa Cruz, which is absolutely epic. Awesome. Now they've got 10 videos that users have submitted and you need to vote for your favorite video so that they could win the bike of their dreams. Yeah, it um, really is a beautiful bike. Doddy's been so passionate about oh, his competition. Yeah, he He's been doing it for ages. He, he oh, really yes. wants this bike to go to the right person. Yeah. So make sure you do vote and get involved. He's put a lot of effort in mm -hmm. and it is a stunning bike. It is absolutely It's out stunning. there. I've yeah. seen it. It's beautiful. It's really cool. I've it's touched really, really it. Cool. Now, as we said earlier, it is Freak Week next week, which we are very excited very about. Very excited. And the GMBN shop has some limited edition t-shirts on offer with look all the those. cool Freak Week cards. They look amazing, don't they? They're rad. They I like them. They are cool. Yeah. Now, pick yourself up one, two, maybe ten, however many you like, because they are on free pre-order, sorry, and they are for a limited time only. Now, of course, the GMBN shop and merchandise is what helps keep us going and we really do appreciate yeah. all your support yeah really do and they're only available to november the 5th that is true so you've got to get, them get on it absolutely right that's the end of this week's show it is it's been a lot of fun summer. it's thanks. been so much fun yeah thanks for joining me jess uh, what's been you. your favorite bit i enjoyed going out on the street i enjoyed, I enjoyed having some nice peace and quiet while you were gone i see what you're saying there Okay, um, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that globe to subscribe Definitely. if you want to watch more GMB and videos. videos. Uh, then you can click just here to see the Nico Vink uh, video that it's was a really, really good, nice, really, really, really nice, nice little uh, piece put together by Blake and Tom Grundy. Yep, and over here, if you want to know how fast the pros are, Neil will tell you all about that over here. Absolutely, and mm -hmm. don't forget before you go, give, give us a thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs.